Hello guys, so it's almost 6 o'clock and we are going to visit a friend that I've met here in France. Makikipag-inuman tayo kasi um, last uh, night na namin dito and ayun, wala lang. Gusto ko lang siyang makita before. It's a perfect day for the road. Diamonds shine on the snow My guitars sleep on the back seat I'm finish. following the river to another show It's quite a sleepy town, isn't it? It's a perfect day for the oh, road the center of town And there's a church over there this is the Hotel de Ville. the scenery so far. We've been driving for about 7 hours from the northwest of the country and finally it's time to take a break. Welcome to Brantum and Perigord, also known as the Venice of Perigord. It is in the southwest of France in the department of Dordogne. Dordogne is also referred to as Perigord, a natural region that is interestingly divided into four colors. We are now at Perigord Vert and it is vert or green for the greenery of its forests and meadows. Perigord Blanc or White Perigord is in the center and is known for the white chalk of the region that can be seen on the buildings of its towns and villages. Perigord Noir or Black refers to the area with thick forests and truffles. Perigord Perp is the purple Perigord for its grapes and vineyards with famous wines from Bergerac and Montbazillac. It sounds like an absolutely amazing region. I wish we can explore them all, but for now, we're just happily passing through. Ang ganda dito!
Ayan. So, maglalakad-lakad muna tayo dito. And explore natin tong super beautiful place na to. Sitting on the edge of the River Drone is a Benedictine Abbey founded by the French Emperor Charlemagne in 769 AD. But even before all that, pagans and hermits have lived in the shelters provided by the limestone cliffs behind it. These cave dwellings show evidence of human activity since the Neolithic times. In the 8th century, the Benedictine monks chose to live in these caves where they have everything they needed shelter from the rocks, water from the river, and the rich, fertile soil around it. Just before the birth of Jesus, King Herod ordered the execution of firstborn sons in Bethlehem. The victims were regarded as the first Christian martyrs, and one of them is Saint Sicarius. Legend says that Charlemagne gave the saint's relics to the abbey and declared it a sacred site. Another impressive structure is the Church of Saint Pierre, built on a 12-meter high rock with its four-story Romanesque bell tower, which dates back to the 11th century and is said to be the oldest in France. Okay, so dito kami magi stay for tonight. Ito yung hotel. Tapos dito kami sa may taas ng ano ba yan? <laughs> dito kami sa may balcony. Ayan. So meron siyang nice view of the river. Okay, so pupunta muna tayo dun sa hotel and magpapahinga muna tayo kasi malayo-layo rin ang binyahe natin. Ay, may mga ano, may something. Ganda dito, grabe. Ayan, so nandito na tayo sa kwarto natin. Diba? And ready na tayong mag-relax. So, dito tayo ngayon sa balcony. Very quiet. Ayan, so magde dinner lang tayo dito sa town. Let's go. Does anything seem open there? No. The one where I nearly walked into near our hotel. Wow. 
probably this one. There's no other way. Yeah, there's no other way. Good morning! Ang ganda ng weather today! So, bibili lang tayo ng breakfast sa boulangerie or bakery and then magbe-breakfast tayo dun sa balcony. So, ayan yung patisier. So, dyan tayo bibili. Meron din silang bread dyan. Nandito yung street kagabi kung saan tayo naglakad. Okay, nagugutom na ako. Bumili na tayo ng pagkain. Bonjour! Uh, du croissant and uh, du pain au chocolat un jus d'orange uh, un espresso allongé ayan, so nakabalik na tayo sa hotel and tingnan natin yung view it's called sauce I don't know I have fun with chocolate. It has chocolate in it. Ang gandang gumising sa ganitong scenery. It's so colorful. And then, pwede tayong magkape-kape dyan. Dyan sa cafe ng hotel. Diba? It's so nice. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful autumn day with me. And I'll see you again next time as we move on to Périgord Blanc and also stop by one of the most beautiful villages in France. Thank you so much for watching. Bonne journée, au revoir.